It's time to stop and break this vicious cycle. We have so many mentally ill and mentally immature girls and boys, aka women and men, having kids and not and not taking care of their responsibilities. It's your girl Tash 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 Shama, and I'm back with another inspirational and informational video so we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place, to help make our world a better place, to help make this world a better place. Yes. If you're new here, my name is Tashana and I'm the founder of The Chosen One's Love. We give out motivational, inspirational, and informational videos as much as we can to help raise energies, frequencies, and vibrations to change mentalities and yes, help make our world a better place. How y'all doing today? I hope good. I hope good. There's no reason for you not to be. When life, when you learn that life is a solo journey, it's about finding yourself, learning yourself, knowing yourself, being yourself, understanding yourself. When you learn that life is a solo journey, you will stop expecting from others. And if you do not expect from others, guess what? You cannot hurt your own feelings. You cannot hurt your own feelings. So why is it that this world still hasn't stopped this vicious cycle. It's because the programming and conditioning. You see, when I was growing up, we didn't have all this technology out here. We didn't have all these sound waves. We didn't have all this energy moving without sight or sound. We had regular old outside, dirt, rain, <laughs> grass, balls, bats, you know, helmets. We had sports. We had things that were moving our body, keeping our bodies active. We had fresh air. We had sunlight. We had those things that kept the normal regulated body healthy and happy and joyous. Today, in this day and age, you have people on a dopamine high 24-7, depleting their natural dopamine with artificial dopamines with chemicals. And because of that, when they come down to a sober level or when they come down to try to get their life together, they don't know where to start. They don't know how to feel. They don't know how to handle the emotions that are coming at them. Because literally, you have to start a healing journey. You have to deprogram yourself from everything you were programmed with thus far that's hurting you, that's taking away from your peace, that's bringing you down. You have to be willing to step away from that for your own soul to live, for your own soul to live. Some people have kids irresponsibly because they do not know that they are programmed and conditioned. They do not know that they are not ready. They do not know that they're not gonna be willing to put in the effort that it takes to learn the knowledge to do better because these people are so wrapped up in their selves. You have selfish girls, selfish boys out here that turn into selfish fathers and selfish mothers out here. Don't hate the messenger. Have a problem with the people that ain't taking responsibility for their actions. How do you watch your own child sink? How do you watch your own child fall? How do you watch your own child be depressed and have anxiety year after year after year after year? And they're literally children because their mentalities haven't been able to develop because they their growth has been stunted by their own parents. And these parents, they like to lie. They like to live in a lie. They like to live in a non-reality by covering up their own hurt and pain, their own lack of self-worth, their own lack of self-confidence, their own, their own responsibility for their lives. 
with drugs and alcohol. I don't care what nobody say. In the beginning of you doing drugs and alcohol, yes, it's an uplifter. Yes, it makes you do more. Yes, it makes you want to be better. Yes, it makes you want to grow and change because it gives you that false chemical. It gives you the dopamine. It gives you the joy and the happiness in the moments of covering up the real pain, the real hurt. It gives you that joy to, to not feel numb to your own life. But then you fall in a sense of non-reality. You're not in true reality with yourself. So you lie to yourself over and over and over again. Then you have kids because you don't want to do the work. You want something that's going to distract you and keep you from finding out who you truly are. Trust me, I've been there, done this. I know. I know I had my kids early on because my soul was dying. Instead of me finding out why my soul was dying, instead of me looking at how I can make my soul live by learning who I am, I found something that can love me unconditionally and that I can love unconditionally to keep the love flowing. So my soul didn't die. I found out and learned that it's my responsibility to take care of myself in this lifetime. Not nobody else, not even the parents that brought me into this world that weren't ready to be parents. Not even the parents that brought me in this world that don't care to be parents. Once they found out that they are in the wrong, that they are doing wrong, they still don't care. I couldn't dwell on that being a parent. I couldn't dwell on that trying to find out who I am, trying to be my highest self, trying to learn my highest consciousness to be my bestest self so I can learn and grow in this system to be the best version of myself. I can't make the excuses for them. I had to let those excuses go a long time ago. I started my healing journey a little bit after 25 years old. And in the beginning, it's snot nosed. It hurts. You have to relive everything that ever has hurt you to transmute that energy, to change the action and the course and the thoughts that you had in the moments. So you can trick your brain into turning hurt moments into good moments, hurt moments and moments that's, that's here to make you, that's here to make you. So everything that's hurting you, trying to bring you down, use that as a stepping stone, use that as a pillar to do better, use that as maneuvers to, to, to make yourself soar, to make yourself fly, to make yourself understand, to make yourself know that it's you versus you. You are the only person that's going to create the life that you want to live. You are the only person that's going to give yourself the momentum, the discipline, and the consistency. You have to build those characteristics. You have to give yourself the ability and you have to give yourself the decisions, you have to give yourself the mind frame to push you there, to take you there. Ain't nobody else gonna help you do better than they have done for themselves. Ain't nobody gonna love you like you love you. I did this message today because somebody very close in my life who been through the same things I've been through, who came from the same people I came from is now is now learning that they can't keep self-sabotaging themselves, that they can't keep putting themselves in the wrong environments, that they can't stay around the same people who hurt them. Life is about learning who you are, finding out who you are, trusting yourself, going within yourself, learning that it's a God inside of you. God, the creator is inside of you. You don't have to stay into your reptilian brain. You can move to your higher consciousness, to your higher power brain by raising into Christ consciousness. But you have to have faith and you have to believe. You have to have faith and you have to believe in you. In you. Because if you don't have faith or believe in you, guess what? Ain't nobody else gonna have faith or believe in you. It all starts with you. You don't have to go down the wrong path. You don't have to compete with people that don't have anything. These people are living off the government. These people are living off of nothing and creating nothing, all to be nothing. 
leaving their kids and their legacies with nothing. Why compete with people like that? Leave those people in your past. Leave those environments in your past. Leave the things that's bringing your energies, frequencies, and vibrations down in the past. I had to tell my kids the other day, my kids are blessed to have a mama like me, to, to be where we are with a single parent home. And sometimes, sometimes when, when some of my kids are not moving enough, when they're not moving, because energy cannot be still, it can't be complacent because it's stuck energy then, and then therefore you'll be unhappy. You have to stay moving. You have to keep your body going. You have to stay in consistent flow for you to have some sort of joy. And then to add on to that, you can't be programming and conditioning yourself with things all across TikTok, with things all across Facebook, with things all across YouTube, with things all across the internet, because everything on the internet these days are designed to bring you down or designed to give you a false sense of dopamine, to keep you in a, in, a, in a state of contentment and comfortability. And being comfortable ain't gonna get you nowhere. You versus you, sis. You versus you, bro. You gotta learn how to stand up for what you believe in. Because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And remember, everybody, not your family. Some people are just relatives. Some people are just associates. It's up to you to determine who is loving you like you love you. Who is going to love you like you love them. Stop letting everybody around you and touch you and be in your life. Because not everybody has your best interests at heart. Not even your own relative pool. They can be lost. They can be hurt. They can have not ever healed. They can be programmed and conditioned and stuck in the matrix because they are lost in a old programmed system that hasn't got them anywhere. So if they haven't got anywhere, what makes you think them same people are gonna help you get somewhere? They're not. You have to break away and you have to grow on your own. And guess what? The creator is here to see you through. You have to believe and you have to have faith. So stand up and stand tall for yourself today. With all that being said, I hope y'all gained some very valuable inspiration and motivation from this video. I love y'all and I hope y'all have a very beautiful, blessed evening. Mwah!